since the last time we spoke, I think that was the um, Christmas long weekend. Yeah, like around that time when I had the mini twists and whatnot. And it's now the, the, the second week of January 20, 2021. And literally when I got back from work, like right after New Year's weekend, you know, we got an email from my employers telling us that we had to revert back to the, the measures we had last year. So some people have gone on leave, some people would just be working from home and then the rest would work on a rotational basis. So I'm one of the people who be working on a rotational basis where some days I'm in the office, some days I'm not. So yeah, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's gotten serious again, unfortunately. And this past weekend, um, those meters that I had, they clocked two weeks. So I, I took them out that weekend and prior to, you know, all this going down, like when I had, when I did my hair, like, you know, Christmas weekend, I just assumed that I, that I would be redoing it every two weeks at the hair salon because I'm lazy and I'd made some bookings, but I did cancel my booking because I live in Chongwe and the hair salon I go to is in Osaka. So people who aren't Zambian, I, I have to travel to a different town to have my hair done and like really it isn't worth it. So I did cancel that appointment and I, I meant to do my own hair, so to try and literally attempt and do my own mini twists, which I can do, it's just laziness, but I, like, I didn't have the willpower to do it this weekend, so I just washed my hair, conditioned it, and then, like, I got help from home, because I'm, I'm also one of those black women who, who doesn't know how to cornrow, so yeah, I, I just got help from someone at home who, you know, did two straight backs, so that's the backstory, sorry for the long backstory, but yeah. I have very thin hair. I am aware of that. I'm always saying it if you aren't new here. But with my natural hair, like, and that's why I love shrinkage. You know, like, it always gives this illusion of thickness. And I'm aware that, you know, my hair is thin. And the way I style it gives it an, an illusion of thickness. But having two straight backs, you know, was just, like, it was a huge wow to me. Because I could literally see my hair for what it is. And I was in shock. Like I literally look bold <laughs> and I thought, you know, even like I had mentioned in my previous video, like I thought I've been doing a good job these past couple of years, but I don't know, like, is this what my hair really is? It's been a while since I've seen it flat that way and I was in shock. So I'll take this off, <laughs> but you've probably seen it in the thumbnail anyway. So let me just take off this beret or beanie and show you what I mean. So my hair looks really like, like this is literally all the hair on my head that's it and let me turn to the side so you can see what i'm talking about this is one side and this is the other side and yeah you know the part down the middle so <laughs> I'm, I'm actually just like I'm going to stay this way even though like I look ridiculous because this is my truth and I felt really ugly <laughs> like I felt really ugly and really really sad about how like like the reality of what my hair is and I'm here now because it's been like a full day that I've had to think about it and I thought you know this video might be useful to someone out there someone who has thin hair like me even like I, like I said like I say I'm always saying I have thin hair but I feel like it's important for us to be able to relate or just see people like this because I know that I consume so much content of people with natural hair that is really really thick and just luscious and I get used to seeing that and then I never see people like me like never see people like me and if you aren't you know if, if you don't love your natural hair already as it is like one i have kinky natural hair like i don't mind having kinky natural hair it is low density as you can see and fine but the fact that i have these patches and by the way these patches are another story bear with me but yeah if you don't love your natural hair and then you're out here just consuming so much content with people with really really thick beautiful hair 
but you always want to cover it and just you know like throw it away or just keep it short but i don't know like i, I wanted to make this video like yes i did have a moment where i was just like yuck to myself but at the same time you know i'm able to like like i actually get away with styling it and it looks really really good so you shouldn't give up is my point and something else about you know these bold spots i, I can't even call them bold spots it's hair loss it's literally hair loss so at the point that i decided to transition to natural hair or just a big chop i think that was like late 2017 i realized and i i did a video like 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 i did a video where i realized that my hair was thinning on you know on one side and then later on like the like like, like the prequel to my big chop video i mentioned that as well and i thought it had to do with you know like me and like i just like like um, um, chemically treating my hair with relaxers and how i probably shouldn't relax my hair anymore and just give it a break and try and grow my hair out naturally to see if it will, will grow back like i actually thought you know that just staying natural would help that i mean my, my hair will grow back and i had forgotten about the thinness on the sides of my head and granted granted when i took out my four locks in november i put my hair in a high puff sorry I am aware that my neighbors are making noise and I'm trying to talk over them. Trust me, like, <laughs> I'm aware that you can hear them in the background. I am so sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it because they're literally in a, in a, in a different, like, yard. Like, there's a whole fence between us, but, you know, the, it's the ghetto. So, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, anyways, hopefully they'll <laughs> the, the move to a different spot to chat. But, yeah. What was I saying? Um, I thought, you know, growing my hair out naturally would help the situation. And then I forgot because I never see the, the, the sides of my head like this. Like it's, it's been so long. But then I took out my four locks in November and then I put my hair in a high puff. I also instantly feel like I was so proud because it was the first time I'd seen my hair in a high puff. Like that. You know, with, and just look so lo so long and full, but then the, the like the sides of my head. I was like, oh, like that problem is still there. Like it's like so that was permanent damage, I guess. But then you know the high puff, you know, was distracting me from <laughs> from that whole hair loss side situation. But then when I did these straight backs, and just saw what I was left with, I, I I'm not sure if the camera is doing justice. Like I'll, I'll only be able to know once I play this back. But it was just very very sad it was very very sad like my hair is gone on the, on, on the sides of my head like there's literally nothing i can do really and like i have read articles in the past and everything and for the most part people you know like, like, like the, the main underlying thing is a yeah so as i was saying um in the past you know when i when i've read up on this issue and what the problem could have been i remember actually getting feedback from that video and i was told you know just go see a dermatologist or a trichologist or an actual doctor i haven't yet <laughs> but yeah from what i've you know read up on google most people say it probably has to do with hormones or and then uh, when it comes to hormones like like the reason why it's a hormonal issue is because of stress and I'm just like, you guys, like, stress is something I have failed to just get rid of. Like, each time I, I try to find peace, so each time, like, I just try to, like, like, like as an adult, as we are adult, I am almost 29, like, I'm, like, I'm turning 29 this year. Most of you, like, can attest that the older that we get, the more burdens we just, we just have to bear in life. Like, we, we literally cannot catch a break like 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 we can't even have like like a full year's break of just being chill and at peace like there's always stuff happening there's always things going down that are stressful so i am always stressed i'm also a, a very anxious person like there's nothing i can do about it or well, i can try but for the most part you know i have failed <laughs> so if indeed you know like the cause of my hair thinning on the sides has had to do with hair loss uh, so it has had to deal with stress like there's not much i can do about it if it was traction alopecia from putting putting my hair in like ponytails for many 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 years when i was relaxed oh that's sad you know because you know it looks like it's permanent damage 
because I, I haven't been wearing my hair in ponytails. If it was me, you know, wearing my hair in extensions, like, you know, like, like box braids, twists and whatnot, I feel like the hair loss would be everywhere and not just the sides of my head. And I'm not been somebody who wears my wear, who wears my hair up in a, like in a, in a tight bun. So I don't know, like it, it doesn't really add up, but let me conclude on this video. It was just, you know, something I, I wanted to share and put up on the channel as, you know, just me being real. Just me being real and like thought it was important. Let me know if you're someone who's like me who has thin hair. Or if, or if, if you don't want to, like it's fine. But I do hope, you know, that you found this video useful. And yeah, that is it. That is all. I will end here and yeah, stay safe. Like I'm sure some of you are like a sick and tired of people saying that. In fact, even me just saying it is just like like it just came out of my mouth as a default. I feel like we've gotten to a point where like we all know what we're supposed to do, and like even that is out of our control. You know what I mean? Like you could stay safe, but you just don't know. Like literally, you could be out doing the most and be okay. You could stay safe, make one trip, and I don't know. But yeah, I pray for all of you to be okay. I hope all of you are okay i just want to send positive vibes towards you and your loved ones and yeah god bless take care and i will see you in the next video it's been over a month since i filmed the footage that you've just seen in this video i really need to stop <laughs> with the late uploads but it is what it is and here i am now you know mid-february but i wanted to give a shout out to one of my friends she has a hair care brand called her roots if you're zambian and you're not sure like you definitely know who her roots is if you follow me but she did do a video on hair shedding and loss which i absolutely absolutely loved so definitely do check her out on her on instagram it's, she's called her roots there and you can watch this particular video so her tuesday talks um grow your hair with me and i will leave a link in the description box i loved what she had to say <laughs> and it I, I remember at the time that it came out i think it was like maybe two weeks after i filmed that video i was just like yes it was it was something that I, that i could relate to and i'm glad that you know she answered a couple of my questions so i will try and work <laughs> on the stress thing and yeah and basically just do the best that i can but otherwise like i said if, it, if it's permanent hair loss i will try and just style my hair you know and make myself feel nice <laughs> make myself look nice to the best of my abilities and i will end here for now thanks mm -hmm.